Okay, so for this exercise, you are going to conjugate the word carmen, carminus, similar to the way you conjugated, conjugated rex regis in the previous exercise. So, just like we did with rex regis, we need to find the genitive stem before we begin anything else. So, we're going to take carminus, which is third declension, and we know because it is the is ending, and we're going to take that is ending off in order to find our genitive stem, which in this case is going to be carmen. Like before, we are going to plug carmen into the nominative singular because that's what the dictionary definition tells us, and we're going to plug carmen into the rest of the categories in preparation to add our endings. So now that we have our stem in our chart, we're going to plug on the endings in order to change what the word means. So we're going to use the neuter endings, and we know this because we have the neuter right here from the dictionary definition, and the neuter endings are going to be a bit different than the masculine and feminine endings we used for rex regis. So in this case, we're going to reference the neuter chart and plug those endings on. So here's what the endings on this word look like, and here are the answers. It's important to note again that we have the same ending in the nominative and accusative plural and in the dative and ablative plural. So it's important to look for these words when you're um, translating because you can recognize that they have, could possibly have two different definitions.